Hello you lot, Miller Corner here. Welcome to a beautiful day in October, would you believe? And a car, but not one of mine for a change. My girlfriend's Volvo C30 D3 R Design SE Lux. It's a bit of a mouthful. It doesn't have any headlights at the moment because off camera while I've been at work, my girlfriend doesn't work five days a week, so she's been at home tinkering on this thing and doing a few little modifications of her own. So there's no headlights in it at the moment because the front bumper came off yesterday to do a couple of bits. First of all, this custom mesh grille on the lower half. That looks amazing because the old one was sort of cracked and faded and knackered. The horns have been painted yellow. Broom yellow, in fact. Yeah, that is Fiat Broom yellow on the horns. That looks amazing. Custom center caps on it. She's painted the brake calipers in yellow. We've also got Swedish flag valve caps. I got her those for her birthday. And I also got her these lovely wind deflectors because they should be obligatory on every car. And this fantastic sticker. Oh, yes. Standard factory strut braces, Broom yellow and the battery cover and the fuse box cover. Blue and yellow, that is a mad color combination. And yes, we do get turbo sucky noises. The previous owner hit a pheasant, and as a result, the grill is not in good health. I mean, this badge is all faded anyway and peeling, but yeah, that is uh, not looking too good. This upper grill section, just this bit here on eBay secondhand is over 200 quid, and we're not about that. So instead, we're gonna take a quick shopping trip to make one of our own. We've come to Halfords, we've found the goods. Yes, aluminium mesh in black. How much? 17 quid, bargain. Right, let's head home. Not in that white German thing, but that one. Oh. So front bumper's off. Now we just need to release all of these little plastic tabby things that hold the grill in. I can't do this one-handed. Jump cup. Thanks to the five pound Tesco toolkit, we've worked it out. You have to pop a flat blade in these clips to sort of release them out. The obvious solution to this is buy an Alpha GTV with a broken grill and then it just falls out in your hands. Shout out to those of you that remember that series. We're getting there, we're getting there. Yes! I'm gonna give you a serious grilling. There you go. She has to put up with this, this poor woman. So next step is we're gonna try and separate the bit that says our design and the bit with the silver Volvo sort of cross liney bit because you do actually have to keep the uh, outer bit of the original grill because that's the bezel that actually clips into the silver frame. I think this is making sense. I'm just talking while my girlfriend's actually doing all the work here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So next, the original plastic great grill stuff has to be cut out with some delicate tools. Or you could just use a pheasant. Warning, the um, RSPB might have something to say about that. Yes. In the bin. That's about 80 quid just sat there. You can tell it's Volvo. <laughs> Swedish, the Swedes well known for their plastic, but it is defeated by a pheasant. <laughs> Test inspiration. Oh, that is gonna look naughty. You keen? Naughty. Right, new plan. Because the black plastic bit is so utterly pheasanted to death, we're actually gonna do away with the entire black bezel, just use the silver frame, and then use our finest quality cable ties to attach it to the inside of the bumper. So for now, we can go ham on this black, just get it out, then we can pop the silver bit out of here, because it's got these clips in it, and then we're on to mesh town. So 11 years and an impact with a pheasant have done their job on these plastic clips, because they are brittle and snappy and not good, but it is gradually working. We're managing to get bits of the Volvo sort of emblem silvery bit off and thankfully it is in bits from the factory so it's not quite as much of a pain in the ass just still a pain in the ass yes only the best so now it's trim a square roughly in the shape of the grill then gradually neaten it up if you didn't see me do this on the alpha you won't know that this takes bloody ages I'm not filming everyone jump cut so the plan now is attach the top of the grill to the top of the frame so we know roughly where we are, then we can more neatly trim it. And it must be said, this is actually really good quality stuff. It even came with cable ties for maximum bodgery. I mean, doing proper leery. Can you stop now? I've got performance. <laughs> it's all getting a bit exciting. Next up, we've just got to run these cutters all the way around and trim it 
to the line of the bezel. And you're gonna to get to see each and every cut into, not really, we're gonna jump cut it again, but how good does this look? You excited? I'm very excited. Check out the magnificence. Trimmed, neat, looks amazing. One happy lady. So, should we go see if it fits? Oh yes. Does it go from the bottom or the top? Yes. We'll be right back after these important messages. We thought it'd be easier to do with the bumper off, so we went to an entire bag of cable ties onto the back of this thing to hold it on. And now, with the bumper on the car, delicately. Oh, yes. How good is that? Woof. So now we're just centralizing the Volvo badge to put that in. And we've got the little R design badge there. We've opted not to use the little silver leggy bits because they won't line up because it needs a plastic bezel bit in the black that was originally there. So we're not using those, but we are using this and that is going to get a new sticker at some point. Yellow? Yellow. Right, we've trimmed some of the mesh around the back of the badge to suit. We've even fitted a nice crafty cable tie and around the front, awesome. I reckon it'll look even better on the car though. Right, well it seems like it was too much to ask to just have a project go well and finish early. So next we're painting the fog light, running light cover bits, gloss black, because they've gone a bit faded and we want them to look amazing with the sick new grill there. So these will be flatted down. Um, my girlfriend is holding the camera because she's trusted me to do the painting of them. So there you go, I am contributing something to this project. And I think we need to bring back a, uh, a long forgotten sting for this bit. Joe paints random stuff. Do, do, do. So there we have it. One day later, we've let the paint dry on the lower grills. We put the bumper and the headlights and everything back on. We've also stuck the, uh, where is it? Our design badge over there as well. It does need some new stickers on it. We have got those coming hopefully, but for now, that looks awesome. For a total investment of less than 40 quid for the mesh, the paint, everything we used on this, compared to over 200 quid for a second hand C30 grill, I don't think you can complain at that. Exposes the yellow horns there, looks amazing. There's the lower mesh grill there as well. This is a triumph of a job. Love doing it, great result. And my girlfriend is pretty chuffed with it as well. So I think we do need to do some more C30 action on the channel in the future before it takes us to the Nürburgring next May. For now though, thanks very much for watching everybody and have a brilliant rest of your day. Catch you soon and have a good one. Oh yeah.